Okay, so just a short, short uh, presentation about the other cost action that has uh, uh, some, quite a lot of relation with, uh, with this action. Uh, we prepare this presentation generally with uh, the share of the action, uh, uh, Professor Jose Matos from the University of Mino, and actually I am the by share of this, uh, of this action. So the action is, uh, is uh, the, the background is on the, the, the need of a lot of uh, infrastructure management and rehabilitation in the coming, uh, in the coming years, up to 2030 and later. We will see how our, our infrastructure uh, is uh, aging and the bridges are becoming old and most of them are becoming deficient and this will be this is a general trend in the in the that we are seeing and that will be increasing in the in the coming years so there is a a, a decay process process that are uh, structures and bridges that are decaying uh, and of course we have also public demands the public wants uh, infrastructure and bridges that uh, work properly and all this is also in an environment where there are uh, limited resources. So the only way to manage with all these uh, boundaries is to have a quite uh, good, efficient uh, management of the infrastructure. And this uh, management is mainly, uh, uh, is mainly uh, given by what we call the, the, the quality control, uh, which service to the society needs a uh, a good quality and there should be a quality control of this performance and this quality before to arrive this quality control of course we need some kind of testing visual inspection monitoring as you can see here there is already something that is related to this cost action and all this is reflected in a, what we call a performance indicator and performance indicator is one of the main subjects of a our uh, cost action uh, jointly with these uh, performance goals. So normally in order to manage the, the existing infra infrastructure and mainly also in, in pavements and in bridges, what you, you use normally is a, a bridge management system. A system that is used to store the quality control plans of the bridge network and where we can see uh, Starting from some condition of the of the infrastructure, uh, of the infrastructure, we have to see which is the deterioration curve and when we will arrive to some limited state. In order, and we have to control all this uh, based on this uh, uh, quality control. This is uh, very typical in a in a in a management of a network. We have the condition here, the performance indicator for this condition with the time so we can have different policies no one where we have when we can have a, a big deterioration and then we have to perform a very very big rehabilitation very big repair or there are other policies where we can have uh, more preventive maintenance every interval of time and what we are looking at the end is to have a good uh, the maximum uh, optimization of the limited resources that that we have So the reasons for the action, uh, they are quite clear. If you look at the different uh, bridge management systems in Europe and around the world, we can see that each country has a different thing. In Europe, there are many countries that they are already using uh, bridge management systems, but uh, there are no any relation between them and uh, each one is independent of the, of the other one. So we have a unified Europe with a freedom for traffic, freedom for uh, uh, the, the, the fact to move from one country to another, but then we have different quality controls in the different countries. So this is, makes a nonsense. Should be something with some kind of homogenization between the different countries and the different systems. And this is what this action is try to try to to give. Yeah, if you look at this more deeply to these uh, different uh, management systems, we see that uh, looking at different options, they make quite different things. Some of them, they have, uh, they have safety assessments, others they don't have it. So there is a very, very big heterogeneity that is not sense in a unified uh, euro. So this is something that we have to try to avoid and these are the, the main reasons for the action. That 
There is a real need to standardize the quality assessment of the roadway bridges at an European level. So the, the main objective is to develop a guideline for the establishment of quality control plans in roadway bridges. We don't look at all the infrastructure. We're more focused on the on a special type of uh, infrastructure that is uh, bridges and mainly the road bridges. And uh, this guideline will focus on the, on, uh, on the bridge maintenance at two different levels. We have to look at which are the performance goals in these uh, specific bridges, and also we have to look at which are the most important performance indicators that has, have to be used uh, to measure the quality of this existing infrastructure. Here there are other uh, more uh, specific objectives. Uh, of course, we have to systematize the knowledge of the different quality control plans for bridges. Uh, we, we, our first uh, action is to have a, a database of the, to have a state of the state of the art about what is uh, actually being done, being done in the in the subject of uh, performance. And uh, what, what we are looking at the end is uh, uh, to have a kind of guideline, a specific guideline that should try to have uh, these, uh, some criteria, some points to get this homogenization of the different performance indicator and the different quality uh, control plans that could be used, could be used in, the, in the near future to, uh, to deal with this, uh, with this bridge network all around Europe. Uh, as in uh, any construction, we have to deliver some reports. They are very much related to the different working groups. You can see here the working groups. The first one is on performance indicators. Second one is on the performance goals uh, regarding the, the, the quality of the uh, of bridges. The third one is the establishment of a quality control plan. And of course, we have also to give here some recommendations about this the establishment of these quality control plans. And the other two uh, are the, the, the implementation of a case study, how to apply these recommendations that we will be developing in the other working groups, and at the end to uh, deliver some uh, recommendations for the establishment of quality control plans. Uh, these are the different working groups with the leaders and the, the vice leaders of the uh, working groups. As you can see, there are uh, names here that are also active, very active in this construction. So for sure that there is a big interaction between our two construction and for this is good that you know about uh, where, what we are developing in this, uh, in our action. Uh, of course, the organization is similar to all the constructions. We have a management committee, a core group, an advisory board with people from uh, industry and owners. And we have also uh, the, the observers of the management committee. In this case, we try to have one observer for, one, for each continent, one person from the different continents, uh, a total of five members. And these are all the uh, countries that are involved in this uh, cost action. Uh, we also have Montenegro. And we are only missing uh, Romania. This is the only one that we have people participating in the working groups, but not in the, not in the management committees. Uh, what was uh, difficult to get uh, people involved from this, from this country. So the distribution, as you can see, we have totally uh, 173 participants uh, distributed with uh, management committee members, working group members, this is the most active, we have totally 44 countries involved. And in the meeting, uh, the meeting that we had in Geneva, the last one, the big one, we had uh, 61 uh, working group members in this, that was in the last, in September last year. You can see here just for general information, the different countries, and which are the number of uh, participant people in, uh, in all these uh, countries uh, involved.
We have also non-research partners, uh, an important group of them that they are listed here. And well, at the end, we have to look at the, at the interaction between these two uh, constructions. And uh, well, the best way to do it is uh, showing the slide that I, 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 I already shown before. I mean, we are, we are interested in the quality control. For this quality control, we are based in our construction uh, 1406 on the performance goal and the performance indicator. And the only way to have a good assessment of this performance indicator is by monitoring, is the subject of this action. And of course, visual inspection. So different kinds of monitoring, one more automatized or more, more uh, visual or non-destructive testing. But of course, the relation is, is very clear. And we can also see it here. I mean, if our, if our goal in, uh, in, in construction 1406 is to have uh, uh, an optimization of this uh, uh, relation of, of this performance indicator, we have to know where we are in this degradation curve. If we want to start our rehabilitation work on this point, or we, we'll, we want to do it in a preventive way and start it here. But anyway, we have to know where we are. And the only way to know where is our performance indicator located is by using monitoring, by uh, uh, looking uh, at, the, at the actual state of the, of the bridge. So uh, and this is the only way to do it, by, uh, by, by monitoring, structural monitoring. So it's a very clear relation. Not only this, but also in the memorandum of, of, the, of understanding of the two actions, you can see in the, for the working group two of this uh, 1402, uh, this action here, the memorandum of understanding says to look into any type of civil engineering infrastructure, roads, bridges, dams, power plants, this is more general, is any kind of infrastructure, and define the most relevant performance indicators to be monitored by the available structural health monitoring techniques. And then if we look at the memorandum of understanding of uh, uh, the other cost action, 1406, the important goal here is the definition of the performance indicators for highway bridges for the present and future structural conditions on deterministic and probabilistic levels. So here we want to define the performance indicators for bridges, and here we want to know which are the best available monitoring techniques to uh, have a good assessment of this performance indicator. So this is it. This is our uh, website. Uh, all the information is there as uh, it's, uh, it's required in the constructions. You can find information there. And also you have there in the, in the registration desk this uh, small information uh, with the different working groups and the different people that is more involved on this. And this is all. if you have any question, I will be very happy to answer you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the introduction of uh, the cost action TU 1406. Uh, we are looking forward to interaction, and uh, there will be a workshop in two weeks' time, I think, of the TU 1406, um, where we are introducing uh, our cost action TU 1402 to TU 1406, and uh, this provides then our is the starting point to build up some common understanding and looking for synergies. Okay, thank you very much. We are um, continuing uh, with a general session. Um, so I'm uh, very happy to welcome three speakers here. Uh, the first will be uh, Marie.